To perform a maxisys transfer of a patient from their wheelchair to the mat, first you must remove the leg rests. Then, position the wheelchair with the patient's assistance so that it is as close as possible to the mat. Angle the wheelchair so that the patient is slightly, slightly facing the mat. Make sure the brakes are locked. This is very important. Remove the armrests on the transfer side. Next, ask the patient if they're able to put their arms around your shoulders. If they are, have them place their hands now. Lock their knees for the transfer. Do the, to do this, push their knees together so that the notch on the inside of both your knees between your kneecap and the end of your femur lines up with the notch on the outside of their kneecaps and femur. It should feel snug and secure. Do not let go of squeezing their legs together during the transfer. Then tell them to help you scoot them forward one hip at a time. Cue them to lean to one side while placing your hand behind their opposite hip and sliding it forward. Repeat on the other side. Have them help as much as they can. Make sure you are moving from your legs and not your back. Next, you must check both you and your patient's foot placement. To lead the transfer, place your head on the side of the patient closer to the mat so you can see where they are going. Then, once they are forward enough in the seat, have them shift their weight again to one side, placing your hand under their butt as far under as you can. You should feel their ischial tuberosity under your hand. It is the most prominent bone you will feel. Then have them lean the other way and repeat with the other hand. Repeat as needed until you feel that you are clearly under them. Tell the patient to lean forward, and on the count of three, you will transfer. One, two, three. Once on the mat, keep blocking their knees. If they are close to the edge, rock to one side and push the opposite hip back. Repeat on the other side until they are seated safely. Tell them to support themselves with their hands if able. Keep one hand on their back. Adjust their feet as, as needed so that they are flat on the floor. Make sure the patient is safe and sitting.